Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Thrifty Shopping Cart. So this is going to be eBay and Amazon sales update for the month of February. Um, this month was, was a little bit better than last month. Um, I will show you the items that I sold on eBay and Amazon. Um, just before I get right into it, I just have to let you know that eBay for the month of February was extremely slow. I only sold three items. I'm hoping that next month it picks up. So the first item I sold, now I'll tell the story in this one. This is the Ninja Blender 72 ounce pitcher. Um, I had bought this one at Walmart. And I bought it and I only had about two smoothies and it broke. So I threw away the motor and now I kind of regret it because I still could have sold it on eBay even though it's broken. So what I did was I looked and see that they had like uh, pictures that were being sold on eBay. So I decided to sell mine. So it's the Ninja Blender 72 ounce. I sold it for $35. Um, the customer did pay $20.05. After fees, which was $5.40, I made a network profit of $29.60. So I might have lost, you know, some money because I purchased it for a gift for myself, but I was able to at least get $29 back, which is not bad. Um, I'm going to jump in from eBay to Amazon, so I'll go back and forth. The next item I sold on Amazon is Managing Cover Corps. Profitability. This is a third edition. Uh, third edition books do make money on eBay and on Amazon. This is why it's strongly important that if you are book picking, that you scan all your books no matter what the edition is. Um, but something like this, anything with like landscaping, um, gardening, and profit and food, these are the type of like books that get sold on Amazon. So this book, I bought it for about 10 cents. It was at the Goodwill by the Pound. I sold it for $15. Customer paid $3.99 for shipping. After fees, it was $4.59. I made a network profit of $14.04. Now, I did mention this in my other video last month. Amazon gives you some type of like like um extra money because they do know that the shipping might be less than three ninety nine, so they kind of estimate it. So that's why the numbers seem off, but that's usually that's what they're gonna set is fourteen dollars and fourteen cents. Um, the next one, we'll go back into eBay. Now, talk about buying electronics and not having any luck with them. So I bought this one a couple of months back. It's the Apple Magic Mouse Laser. So it got sold for $35.97. I offer free shipping just so I could sell a quickie. Um, after the fees, it was $4.94. I made a network profit of $27.29. So I bought this mouse um, laser when it just came. Um, I bought it like, I think I bought it like two or three months ago. I paid $65 for it. God, I feel like an idiot for doing that. When I bought it, I just didn't like the way it was working. It was it would freeze up and click it. And it was just awful. So now I'm using a $7 mouse that I bought at uh, Big Lot, and I love it. It works fine, which is what I'm using right now as I'm doing this video. The next item, this is um, a Wii game, and it's the Zumba Fitness. It also came with a belt, but I figured... Um, you know, just showing it shows a boat right there. So I sold it for ten dollars ninety five cents. Shipping was three ninety nine. Fees were three dollars and ninety eight cents. Um, I made a network profit of ten dollars and ninety six cents. So um, let's see. So this was actually a gift, and I never use it, so I figured why not just sell it. So I sold it on on um on Amazon. It took a while for me to sell it. I had it for a couple of months. I had it first for like $20, but no one was going to buy it for that. So I lowered my price because I thought it was new, but it wasn't new. Um, the person that had bought it for me, they told me they bought it at a pawn shop. And what they do is they rewrap the packages. So um, if you're buying stuff at, um, just a little hint guys, if you are buying stuff at the pawn shops or Salvation Army store, make sure you check 
Because I noticed this too, even at Burlington Co. Factory, um, sometimes they'll have the Wii games, but it tells you that this has been used. Even though it's wrapped, it still could be used. And um, I'm glad that the person that gave me this gift told me that because I did put it new before and I was asking for like $40 for it. And I'm glad I didn't do that because it did say use the back. Just a little thing I caught. So, let's see. The next item I sold was on eBay. And um, I have a great video on softwares, making money with different softwares. So check that one out because I go into depth about what type of software you could buy to make some extra cash. So this one is the Kodak Easy Share software. Um, I can't really see. I think this one, if you guys could look here, I think it's from 1990. No, it's 2005. So it's pretty old. But like I said, there's always going to be someone out there that might have bought this. They love how the program works. They love the software. So they're looking for it. I got this for about 10 cents. Um, it did not come in the original package. It was just a CD. I have a lot of cases, so I put them in. I sold it for $12.95. A customer paid $2.72 for shipping. Fees was $1.98. I made $7.22 for profit. Not bad for something I bought 10 cents. Um, the next item I sold, this was from the editors of Cook Illustrated, the best 30 minute recipe. This is actually, this was sold on uh, Amazon. So when I bought this, um, I believe I bought this late September, it was going for $30 on eBay. Uh, not on eBay, on Amazon. I do apologize. So, you know, people come in, they cut the prices. So buyers kept coming in, um, not buyers, sellers kept coming in, they kept just dropping the prices, dropping the prices. So people were selling it last week for like 10 cents. I sold mine for $3 because of the condition the book was. The shipping was $3.99. Um, after fees, I made a profit of $4.20. So that's what happens, guys. You might get a book, you you know, you scan it and say it's going for $100. In two weeks, it, it might be down to a dollar. It's just a game. You just got to go in there quick um, and get your money. So that's why if I go uh, Goodwill shopping or Salvation Army store, I see a book, I scan it right there. I don't wait for like the next day because you never know what could happen the next day. Um, so this one, I was very happy about this one. So other thing too to look for in softwares, look for like outdated softwares that are hard to find. And this particular one is Adobe Page Maker, um, 6.5 CD-ROM. Not a lot of people have this. So this one is very hard to find. Um, I sold, I bought it for about, because it was considered a CD. So I bought it for about a dollar. Uh, but I sold it for $45. Um, shipping was $3.99. I did pay a few few extra trades for shipping, which was not bad. So it came out to $4.22. Fees was $9.09. I made a total profit of $31.69. So this was amazing. Um, they actually, mine was practically brand new, but it was still put used. It was open package. All the CDs was in there. All the books was and everything was completed in that case. The only thing that happened was open. Um, so these are the type of things that you should be looking for. Look for like hard to find softwares. I don't know what year this one is. It's so small. I think this one was either early 2000s or late 90s. I'm not sure. But um, like I said before, anything Adobe, pick it up. There is money to be made on Adobe. Adobe Photoshop. Page record. These are huge, huge profitable items on Amazon. So do pick those up if you do see them. Let's see here. I'll go on, guys. And the last item I sold, audiobooks. I have a lot of audio CDs. And this is one of the other this is one I sold. And I just I don't know. Sometimes I just pick them up. I don't even scan them at the store. Um, I just scan them when I get home. Because I pay for like this one I think I paid because it's considered media. I paid 99 cents for it. So it says get it unstuck. I sold it for $9.95. Shipping was $3.99. Fees was $3.83. I made a network profit of $10.11, guys. So this is it. These are my items that I had sold. Um, I made a total profit 
of $135.51 for the month of February. This includes eBay and Amazon. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, though my goal was to make $150. It did not happen this month. I'm hoping next month to make that goal. And like, like always, if you like my channel, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, subscribe and let me know what you think. Thank you.